And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Kinku Elusives. This is actually a deck that I really haven't played very much at all. Um, I've played like a my own version of this, um, the Elusive Burn that uh, splashes um, for Piltover and Zon for um, uh, Teemo for the one drop and then Mystic Shot as removal. Um, but this deck, this is just a, you know, this is a, a good tier one deck that, uh, that you know, I feel like I, I should play on stream a little bit, you know, because this, this is a pretty popular deck. Um, I definitely haven't tried it with Conspirator just being a 2-2 now instead of a 3-2, but you still see it around and you still play it against it a, a good amount. And it, it feels like it's always uh, pretty good whenever you play against it. So this is the list that... Um, you know, this is just kind of like the the tier one list that was that was uh, written up on Mobile Addicts on on like their tier system. So this is what we'll give it, you know, give it a try and and uh, see how it goes. Um, I think that a really really important card in this deck is Jewel Protector. I think Jewel Protector is underrated, and people think it's maybe just an elusive card, but it's it's not. It's just good kind of everywhere. But it's particularly good with Kinku Life Blade pumping this thing up that's a huge combo and a, a really big strength to this deck one couple of things i don't really like i think three windfair hatchling is too many i think this is like a more of a a zero one zero or one of like maybe a two of but i mean it's it's a good card but um there's too many like whenever i played like the other version i actually just ended up cutting this card because at seven mana i don't know it's just pretty expensive and then I'm not sure about three will and one deny. I really like deny a whole lot. And I kind of think this should be like two wills and two denies. Um, but I want to kind of just play play like the normal list and, and we'll see uh, see how it goes. You know, it's basically 13 three ofs and then the one singular deny. Very streamlined. So let's uh, let's play it and we'll see if we'll see if like those um, hypotheses that I have are good um but uh see if we need to change anything hey mank yeah i'm i'm staying home yep stay just staying home not not going anywhere or anything um last couple of days i've been feeling a little under the weather i don't really know why either i just i don't know what it is but um you know just having like like i've had like a headache the last two days and um, and you know my head feels a little warm but I've been you know I got I got a lot of sleep last night went to bed early got got a good amount of sleep I'll do that again tonight and I'm, I'm feeling better today than I did yesterday um, and I'm hoping you know the next day I'll Tomorrow I'll feel even better and get over it. All right, go get him, Zed. Life Blade's a card I frequently mulligan out of the hand because it is a four mana two two. Uh, but this deck with you know, if Teemo is the only champion, Teemo is usually pretty aggressive. So I thought there'd be an, an aggressive deck, so I kept the Life Blade. But that's frequently a card that I'll be mulliganing. Um, Unless you're playing against an aggro deck. But even then, it's kind of better to have in your deck that you draw into, like after Omen Hawk and stuff like that. But uh, you really want it with Protector, and thankfully we drew Protector. So they want to go to straight to combat before I can play an elusive thing, but then they also want to play units to pump Green Glade Duo. So it looks like they're doing the straight to combat though. But it's basically I was saying it's kind of a tough choice of which one they want to do. Why not play Hawk and attack with it? Like last turn I I didn't have the mana. Like, like this this mana can only be used on spells. I had just spell mana last turn. Can't use it on 
on units. Alright, well, we, we'll use Elixir of Iron. I'll let that happen. I'm going to be having Jewel Protector pump up the Life Blade. There's not a whole lot I could have done otherwise. Man, we can get an even bigger life blade. Even bigger life blade. good so we're gonna have 28 or no never mind 24 we're gonna have 24 mushrooms it's all about this life blade though none none of these things that my opponent's doing matters if our life blade they cannot stays alive and everything this deny is such a great draw that we get to protect it from will of ionia So I'm not playing Zed, you know, obviously beforehand I was planning on playing Zed and I would have played Zed first and then this second. Um, but now with the deny, I'm keeping keeping that. They can still like block with stuff and then bolt their thing they're blocking with. I can't really stop that. I can't, I can't give the opponent's creature plus zero plus two. Oh, I guess, yes, I can stop that. I have deny. <laughs> what do I mean? I can stop that too. We can stop everything. Can't spoil the surprise. Hold up. Master. All right. Eight life gain. That's pretty nice. I'll just pass. I don't need to play the Zed. Um. Okay, now they can't have Will of Ionia anymore. So never mind. I'll play Zed now. me up to 20 then I take seven Said. None of that stuff my opponent was doing was going to matter if they couldn't deal with the 8 8. 
um, life steal. And they couldn't. Didn't even have to use the deny for it. Jewel protector plus uh, Kinku life blade. Very nice combination. Like beans and rice for an enchilada. Very, very nice combination. I don't know. Once I said that word combination, then I just thought of combination platter. <laughs> Spooky Heimerdinger. I like it. This deck's probably pretty sweet. See, I'd much I'd rather this be deny. Both these games so far, Will of I like deny look like a better card than Will of Ionia. I do think this deck needs more denies, less Will of Ionias. And less, less Windfair, Fair Hatchling. This card's seven mana, it's like uncastable. What you looking for? So the spells in my deck are Elixir of Iron, Twin Disciplines, Will of Ionia. Alright, never mind, they played that, so we get to. As you know, like thinking about letting them hit me with the 3 2. We'll go Wayfinder first. Extra hands never hurt. So now Wayfinder can check their pickpocket. So do we want to play? Run away, bike. Hmm. Look out. Um. No, I'm not really planning on uh, returning to MTG Psy Psychotropic. That's what I wrote about um, playing Legends of Runeterra. But yeah, this. I feel like this is a better game, and so I want to, I'm just going to be staying here. I enjoy this game more, at least. Uh, let's see. I don't want to take too much damage. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be that worried about dying. Um, am I going to... Block here. Basically, am I going to want to bounce Omen Hawk and replay Omen Hawk, which is what we normally do, or would I rather just bounce the uh, Wayfinder and replay Wayfinder? And I think right now I'd rather just replay Wayfinder and maybe get, you know, like two more Omen Hawks. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Hey. 
I would rather have Zed, like, I would rather play Zed than this, but um, playing Zed means I wouldn't have Twin Disciplines available. Hmm. Can you save this thing? So we're looking at having six mana next turn. We will let it die. And instead, I'll have protection still for the Zed, because, you know, if I use the Twin Disciplines there, then, um, you know, I don't have protection for Zed. And the Green Glade Duo is, is just simply so, it's so vulnerable, it's very easy to kill, you know, with Static Shocks or Vile Feasts or any, anything that does the one damage. It's, it's a little more difficult to protect. What seems to be the problem? Alright, bouncing Heimerdinger, so they have to use mana again on playing on playing it. speed. So they get an, another 2 1. So they'll have four blockers, three on the ground. Um, we're going to attack with everything except for the 2 3. Do I even want to attack with the 1 1 and the 2 1? Maybe I just attack with. Just attack here. So the the three two peddler, if it blocks anything, it's gonna die. And then same thing with you know, like the because otherwise, if I attack with the the one one, then both the peddler and this evolution turret could block them. them keeping one puff cap peddler and me losing my Navori conspirator um, all right and I guess we lost our two three as well No. 
No. What seems to be the problem? Harvey looked at me pretty guiltily. Knowing she's not supposed to be barking like that. So we didn't make good enough you know, headway there, and so the, you know, the hybrid dinger's in play, it's turned, it's turned online, um, you know, will we be able to finish the, this game out through Heimerdinger? To say it's kind of unlikely. So they're in, they're in the driver's seat right now. Fair hatchling, help us win this game, please. This is our shot. Five three hatchling. This is our shot. I would have blocked that that four one if we could. That four one has fearsome. That's why I didn't just block with like the omen hawk and then play the shadow assassin last turn as well. Needed to keep our board clear enough for us to play the hatchling. All right, so that was just a two mana flash of brilliant. So that means they didn't. Um, didn't get the elusive turret. Like, what are these Boom Crew rookies suddenly doing? It's too late for you. This is me going down to two. Something happen with did something happen with the connection? I 
Okay, now I'm still on? Okay. Just the, my, my viewer count just dropped from 75 to 30 in just like a little bit. I was wondering if something happened. Just a rapid drop like that that doesn't, that doesn't usually happen. Okay, you just saw a jump from 29 to 72, so yeah, that could, yeah, it definitely looks like maybe just twitches. Kind of glitching. Um, all right, so I mean, this is this is our only shot. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Let's put this back in hand. They're looking for removal. All they need is a mystic shot. We don't need any attackers on the ground, obviously. We need these elusives in the air. We have a chance. If they whiffed, you know, like they only have three mana, we have a chance. The second Windfarer Hatchling. Feels like they maybe have, to, like, I don't know what they have in, in hand, but it feels like they have too many creatures in their deck. Like, if they have, like, maybe they're just in with a bunch of creatures or something. Yeah, Mystic Shot does two damage to anything, and so we're at two. And so Mystic Shot would kill us. Hey, little Killy. Hello. Wow, that was a game I really didn't think we were winning. Like, after that Ruination. Even before the Ruination, I didn't think so. But then after the Ruination, I really didn't think so. Um... But uh, yeah, the second Windfarer Hatchling. I need to stop talking so bad about that card. We had GG's. Um, the Will of Ionia has just slowed down our opponent just enough. Um, not convinced they're better than Denies, but bouncing Heimerdinger a couple of times slowed them down a little bit. Okay, yeah, Legends of Runeterra is awesome, and um, you know, you said you haven't played it in, in a while. Uh, this is a good time to re start uh, grinding because um, don't really need that, do I? Let's see. Wait, so I'm attacking turn two and turn four. Um, oh, that's, that's great. That's a great turn one play. They just changed their weekly reward system. It's no longer capped. You can't, you don't just cap at level 13. After level 13, every 4,500 experience you gain, uh, you get another, uh, chest or another capsule that has, uh, two rares and three commons. And, uh, with each one of those, you know, having the chance to be upgraded and, of course, your capsule having the chance to be upgraded to an epic or a champion capsule. And so if you if you play a good amount, you know, if you play a lot, you can earn a lot of free prizes every week. I have a Yasuo deck. Um, that we've done fairly well with. Let me find it over on YouTube. There we go. That's our uh, Yasuo deck, and the, the code and deck list is in the description. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Correct. Yeah, you get... Yes, you get a champion wild card at level 10. At level 5, you get a random champion. So if you just get to level 5, which is which is very easy to get to level 5. Um, you know, like you play like one day, you get to level 5. You get a random champion, so you get that each week. And then if you get to level 10, you get a, a champion wild card. 
Um, I mean, four three Z is kind of good, but it doesn't doesn't get past the five five. I guess I could block with Omen Hawk, then four three Z would get past a five five. Yeah, there's no there's no cap on AI that you gain from or like XP that you gain from AI versus the AI, AI also. So if you're just starting out and if you're scared to play ranked, you can play against the AI and get XP for each win you get there too. Yes, yeah, if you have Twitch Prime, if you have Twitch Prime, uh, you get a free you with there's uh there's um if you link your you know basically if you have twitch prime then you you click on the prime loot and there's you get a champion epic rare wow card and an expedition token you get all those you get those all for free so everybody with twitch prime uh go grab those i walk your path Yeah, it, uh, yeah, um, I'm not sure how long that, that promotion lasts. Hold back the darkness. Oh, you can get a, a free trial for Twitch Prime? Okay. Well, if you, if you can get a free t trial for Twitch Prime... And then if you can, if you get a free sub with the free trial, I don't know if you can do that, but then you can also sub to the stream. Where do you see your level? Um, like your rank, uh, you you have to like hit like the play a match uh, in in ranked, and then it has like your rank above above you. Okay, Twitch Prime runs until April 27th. That Twitch Prime loop. An imbalance. Yeah, the meta is very diverse with a lot of good decks. There isn't anything in particular that uh, that you need to build. Um, I I like recommending the Burn Aggro deck. I, I played a, a Burn Aggro deck that uh, yesterday, and I will go grab that that deck for you um i specifically built it for like the current metagame and it's um you know fairly easy to play and uh, level up with uh because you can you know play qu faster matches and so i even titled the video great rank up deck Duty, selflessness, heavy burden. Really don't want to see another purify, where they purify the life blade. That'd be sad. But we got eleven damage, eleven elusive damage. They have zero elusive blockers and nine lives to use. So they're gonna have to do something about that with this five mana. They need to. Either find an elusive blocker, which they're not going to have, so they need some kind of spell. Which I don't have deny mana available, because we had to cast our attackers, but... Boo. Alright, they're down to one. One little life. It must be done. Do not disappoint me. <laughs> uh, 
We'll take the seven, because we're at 20. We walk between the balance has been maintained. Now we're taking 10. Or 11. <laughs> oh, that thing has lifesteal? Oh, that refuge just gave it lifesteal. Gross. Eyes open. Watch the branches. Quietly. Oh, that's good. That's gonna hurt. All right, so the good news is uh, this is a good time to, to draw a Will of Ionia. The good news is we can bounce this Caretaker, reset it. The old one mana You hate it when you have deny backup for everything, but all their stuff, they just cast like a whole bunch of burst spell speed stuff that wrecks you. And you're sitting there looking at your deny. Still fairly confident we got this. <laughs> but we'll see. Enforced equilibrium. Banish the unworthy. The order rewards its faith. So yeah, I'm bouncing the caretaker. This one's trouble. Could just let the damage happen and just kill my one one. Um, no, it's bugged out. Um. Uh, this is not good. Reopen. Does that mean, do we just automatically lose if you, or does it, will you rejoin the match? What happens if you disconnect? Do you automatically lose? I hope not, because we definitely had that game won. Like we were we're going to win this game. Good, it reconnects. Okay, good, because we're going to win this game. If it loads. Um, I don't really see it loading. There it goes. Okay, so it looks like it, it cast. I fight for the fallen. Do not fear 
the shrouded path. That was dumb. What am I doing playing that? Okay, good. They can just play it. I thought they could, you know, they would just have like the the two mana attack thing. Um, the two mana removal spell, the things fight. Oh, wait a minute. That thing is elusive. Uh oh. We do not have this one. Oh man. We do not have this one at all. Yes, I should not have cast that bounce spell. And I, I thought about that after, you know, like, I was not planning on casting the bounce spell. I was planning on just chump blocking. But then the whole connection issues, then I it had me cast the Will of Ionia, and now, now I don't have Will of Ionia for these things. Yeah, Expedition's cheaper now, but the rewards are a lot worse. This is me taking 9, going down to 11. Yeah, I mean, I wish I still had that Will of Ionia available. Now they could, if they have Burst Speed Barrier... I just, you know, I can't do anything about it. Yeah, I'd probably recommend using the shards on on cards you need instead of the expedition. But you know, still definitely worth playing the expeditions. You know, with your free expedition tokens that you get every week. We walk. They just had the perfect card. Yeah, now now this game's lost. Well, that hurt. I really didn't want to play that Will of Ionia, but it would not have mattered. We were going to be losing that. Uh, no, there's no limited amount of wild cards you can buy with coins, and you can you can also just buy cards with coins now. Um, so you you don't even have to buy the wild cards and then use the wild cards on the card. You can just buy the cards. It's the same same thing basically. Um, I don't think that that changes the game from being free to play friendly at all, because I think that you can earn the stuff fairly quickly and. I don't think that that means that people are just going to invest super heavily at the, the low ranks anyway, because I think that this game, like, I really don't think that changes anything for as far as free-to-play friendly. Um, I think this this game is, is so free-to-play friendly that people won't just spend a whole bunch of money for a, you know, like, whatever tier one deck whenever they're at a low rank. For the most part, that's not everybody, but for the most part, uh, reason being that you have the ability to get those cards without spending money. 
fairly easily. surprised they let me trade. Oh, missed call. That makes sense. Missed call is awesome. I want to be able to protect Zed, which we can't currently do. I guess this thing's a 3 4. So, yeah, I said you've only played Hearthstone as an online card game. There's no way that free-to-play would be as good as someone who spent money on the game. And, yeah, that's that's just not the case here with this game. You can you can earn the cards uh, fairly quickly, and you don't need to... You really don't need to spend money. That's, that's what makes... That's one thing that makes this game so great. That compared to Magic and Hearthstone, you really don't need to spend money on it. What happened to my 3-4? Oh, they missed called again. Bleh. Five five. Five five is a pretty good size. The order rewards its faithful. Five five's not a bad size. Thresh is seen at one unit tie. These, these creatures that we have are not very valuable. Uh, if they die, that's good for Thresh, but it's not 
you know, it's not anything that I'm worried about right now. The most valuable these creatures are going to be, though, is after a Windfarer Hatchling. So I think that I'm supposed to try to uh, keep these things out and see if we can, uh, you know, line up a Windfarer Hatchling with a bunch of creatures. I think that's about as good as we're going to be able to get... for these things. So if they want to play Karma, they'd have four other mana. Valentino Love, get in the sub. Thank you so much there, Kitty Dexterity. Thank you for gifting out a sub. I really appreciate that. Um, so that is our, is that our first... No, that's our second sub of the day. I thought we had another sub. That's right, FEMA. Um, so this is, this is kind of tough. What do we want to do? So I know this thing's a 5-1, but I actually want to recall it so I can draw another card and so that I don't, like, Withering Whale would just be really devastating with that, but I want to be able to draw another card. biggest thing that I need to be worried about, of course, is I play Windfarer Hatchling, then they play Ruination. That would be bad. The box is pretty bad as well. But now that they played the Karma, I don't have to be as worried about Ruination. this works. Alright, tech time. That's us trading with everything. Bad news, Thresh does level up, so if they have another Thresh, it's leveled up. But good news, they're down to six, and Thresh and Karma are off the battlefield. So that's the good news. Oh, that's horrible news. Rush brings back Karma. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Super fragile hawk. Come on, Super Fragile Hawk. No. Right, well. Compassion, not anger. That's not as bad as like a Vile Feast that would have kept it alive.
Hmm. They cannot strike what they cannot see. I'm hoping this works. Hoping this works. And I played I played this Life Blade and not the Zed because if they would Ruination, then like if they would have Ruination, then Zed could still attack for six if they have like Ruination with nothing else. So that would put them up to twelve and I'd have nine power in the air. So it looks like that discipline of fortitude was a great draw. Awesome. All right, we're three and one. All right, maybe I shouldn't be hating so much on these seven drops. These seven drops really are helping us close out these games that we would be struggling closing out uh, without them. These Way Wayfarer hatchlings, they've been closing out these games for us. All right, and we're going with one more game here. Try to make it a good 4-1. Feels like we're gonna lose and be 3-2, because if you look at our records, we're 1-4, then 4-1, 2-3, then 3-2. <laughs> so, but hopefully we go the 4-1. All right. Okay. So, Nivea, Trindamir. Um, I mean, this looks just fine to me. So, saving the one mana. Not playing Blade Scout out. Which maybe means I should not have kept the Blade Scout. I mean, well, like, because they have Omen Hawk, I don't want to play it. If they didn't have Omen Hawk, I would play it and, and try to attack with it, but I don't. I want to get the two damage, two elusive damage in before it would trade. Now I can just safely have Elixir of Iron to protect Zed. I'm going to go just straight to combat. Alright, good. Now that's out of avalanche range. That's big. Pick it up and replay it. So our top two cards get plus two, plus two. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. So looking good. We got leveled up Zed with twin disciplines. No, this shadow shift would have had the plus two, plus two. That's a wasted plus two, plus two. Torches. 
I kind of want to shadow shift this Omen Hawk. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, if this Zed dies, then then this Zed will still be buffed. So we don't want to use this Shadow Shift. Um, Bleh. Alright, well this thing is now just a is now just a 3-4 as far as Zed's con concerned. Wow, that was a very patient Omen Hawk. Okay, well I should probably play this. No, because I play it, then they play this lifesteal. They follow the wrong master. Well, I was obviously planning on attacking with this Blade Scout and everything, but now... Yeah, just... It didn't work. <laughs> hey, Latchin, yeah. There's always a way out. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. Looking for this. So they go back up to twelve. Faster, stronger. Many tribes under one banner. All right, let's go. Do not want to play. Let's see. Is that seven? No, we can't attack with that. Don't want to play the Windfarer Hatchling because of Ruination. This is, uh, this is absolutely a Ruination deck. They have not been acting like they have Ruination, but... Steel. That's why you need to be 
deny. Oh, I should have bounced the Nivea at that point, shouldn't I? And then I still would have had priority to play this. Get these things out of... Yeah, like, I should have just Will of Ionia. Like, I basically wouldn't have had to take two damage. All those things taking two doesn't matter that much. Hang on, hey. I smell a fight. Walk softly, strike quickly. I know a way. I probably shouldn't even be attacking with Zed. Like Zed's gonna die. To, like all they have to do is block with Trindomir, Zed dies. But I, yeah, exactly. I, I didn't know what they were gonna do to stop all this other stuff, though. All right, and we finish four and one. Level up Zed immediately was pretty crucial. All we need is a hundred more experience, and we'll have. Noxus finished up. Yeah, deck's good. Uh, Windfair Hatchling was really good. I I was wrong about that card. Um, it, yeah, it, it definitely seemed like it was was not out of place at all as a three of. Um, I would up deny and and go down Will of Ionia. Ionia. Like if you're playing this deck, I would I would recommend just going to deny to Will. Um, William was okay, but was mostly just you know a tempo play and four mana for like an unsummoned t tempo play is just a lot of mana. I think I like deny as protection plus countering a really big spell, you know, countering uh, ruination or mother's call would be nice, but like, you know, countering those kind of things, um, static shock avalanche, those things, those things are devastating. Um, or at least can be. So I would recommend going two and two, but um, yeah, you know, pretty, you know, pretty set in stone kind of deck. Very powerful, very good. You know, still still good. It's, you know, we went 4-1 over there. Um, even with all of the the nerfs that they've gotten, uh, it's still good. And Conspirator as a 2-2 is still worth it, being able to pick up Omenhawk and replay Omenhawk over and over. It's still just a great combo. All right, but there we go. That's Kinku Elusives. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave a comment. Um... But thank you so much for watching some Kinku Elusives, and I'll see you for the next video.